Now Ian Botham for the 23rd time has taken five wickets in an innings. And it was the Australians who came back here in 1985 with Alan Border as skipper and you picked up your highest ever one day international score of 72 at the old Trafford grounds you love so much. Mm. Yes, yeah, there's a problem batting the England side. You never get it, you know, batting in at six, you don't often get in very early, and you're usually in for the kamikaze at the end of a one day innings. <clears throat> but I got in a bit earlier that day. I think actually that was the day that Peter May was meant to have told me not to play the reverse sweep again because I got out to it. Well, I'd just like to put the record right, he's never ever told me not to play it. <laughs> launched into it, been waiting for some little while I think as uh, Ian Botham, no doubt at all about this, straight into the screen for six. A Donald no to Botham. Fine shot, great shot. Just about the uh, safest shot in the game of cricket. Over the bowler's head, comfortable height, raced away for four. That's a beautiful shot. And some excellent fielding. Good cricket. smash out there through mid-wicket. It's been contained by Holland. I think it's a terrific shot. And mid-on started to move back, but nowhere near far enough. That's gone way, way up into the crowd again. Successive sixes. There's no deep mid-wicket. And that's where that's gone. What a marvellous hitter of the ball. That wasn't a full-blooded swing. It was a little short-arm jab. Six. is one of the reasons um, I'm old-fashioned enough not to be mad keen about that shot because it can make you look a bit of a gig. I hit great uh, for a six out of the ground and I thought well the next ball he's got to fire in a bit quicker so I thought there's a big gap here at the back I thought the ideal ball quicker ball reverse lap then Greg tossed it up even more which stuffed me out of sight it turned and I got hopelessly bowled. <laughs> and I got ridiculed for it, so. So, Headingley, three wickets in four balls, and Lords, five for 109, and that was a significant performance there, mm. because you overtook Bob Willis's 325 wickets. Yeah, I went past Bob, yeah. He was actually the first guy, yeah, uh, to thank, uh, to wish me well as well when I came off the field. Played on. Botham has picked up his first wicket. Greg Ritchie. Donald to face his first ball in test cricket. And that's out. First time and both of on a hat trick. And the whisker away. have been uh, lifting reasonably sharply that one kept low and Botham has picked up his third wicket and it's hustled the Australians out now for 331 but it's Botham a 
is gone. That's it. It's a glove. It's caught. And David Boone goes. And that's out this time. No question at all. Richard moved inside for that leg glance. And umpire Evans there. No hesitation whatsoever. Oh, there's the finger and Richard goes for 94. So both of them strikes again to leave Australia 317 for five. Gone. Edmund is at Gully. Phillips goes for 21 and both of them has taken his fourth wicket. 347 for six and Border is still there on 180. But both of them has crashed through again. Well, both of them, if anybody, certainly deserve that wicket. A handshake from uh, the two of them. The end of a uh, fine innings. Lovely piece of bowling by both of them. And uh, Alan Border goes for 196. And that could be out. Yes, and Hulich has gone for naught. Both of them taking the wicket in the very first over. Alan Lamb taking the catch down at uh, deep square leg. And Australia needing 127 to win this test match have lost their first wicket without a run on the board. That's in the air and a simple catch and both of them's got another wicket. That gives them one pass Bob Willis. Nine for two, Australia. And both of them has disposed of both openers now. 350th wicket against the West Indies in Port of Spain, 1985-86.